Hi, I'm Darcy, doing some video tutorials for the subject Flexible Digital Urban Modelling at the University of Melbourne. Um, so we have to do a series of video tutorials showing a whole bunch of different processes. Uh, this, well, my series of tutorials that I'm going to do, hopefully come together to, can, to do something bigger um, on the whole. Uh, broken up into a series of different steps to achieving that goal. Uh, the goal we're trying to aim for, or will aim for, is to set up uh, a bit of a city scene and animate some zombies moving within the city scene. Uh, to do this, the first step in our in our tutorial is to establish how our zombies are going to move about the scene. Um, doing it this way because it's good to sort of set up some of the logic behind your animation and motions before you start to you know, throw in like a cityscape at the end because um, you know, at the end of the day that cityscape could be just a, a mesh file that you've got from anywhere, made it, ripped it, uh, whatever but what I really want to concentrate is yeah, setting up some of these motions, these behaviours um, getting some bipeds going that are rigged with a zombie. Um, here we go. So the way we're going to control our zombies is by using the crowd uh, component, which is part of the helpers tool set. Um, 3ds Max can handle you know crowds in certain ways. Uh, there is a oh, way up here somewhere uh, where you do. A, well, it's not in this version, but there's a, um, a basic little crowd simulator tool that is used in a lot of architectural rendering. So it pretty much just gets people and moves them from one direction to the other. It looks very fancy, but it is very dumb, and you can do you can do a whole lot more with the crowd component. We're going to play around with today. So we've made our little crowd component. Uh, the way it works is uh, you. Um, it's sort of it's like like the hive mind that controls everything. So you've got to give it little minions and tell them how to act. So what we're going to do first is sort of make a little ground, some of our little minions to act on. So this is our little ground plane, uh, very simple stuff. Also going to create what is called a delegate. So instead of minion, get used to the word delegate. That's that's the real term for it and while we're there we might as well do this and that should make it a lot easier to see what's going on in the scene there's our little delegate there it's doing his thing not very much at the moment um what we're going to do now is give it some brothers so we're going to create a whole lot more now we could do something like create a whole bunch of delegates and place them in the scene or what the crowd tool is really good at doing is doing all the uh, all the work for you. So what happens is we use this little scatter thing. So what that is, it, it takes a plane or any surface and an object to clone and copies a whole lot of a lot of it and randomly uh, scatters them uh, along it. So we want to make twenty delegates. That'll be that'll be fun to play around with. Um, now we have to pick an object to clone. Delegate one is what we're going to be cloning. Don't want to click plane one because that's not what we want to clone. Uh, we also got to tell them where we want them to clone them. So it could be on the grid, on a shape. We're going to create them on the surface. So you've got to click on surface, and when you pick the surface, it's pretty explanatory. You click the plane, and there we go. You also have to click these three things um, it, it, it's really stuff I don't know about but if you don't do that bad things happen so you don't want that to happen then you know we've got our 20 delegates we're cloning the delegate one which is here and we're putting here, them all on the surface all you have to do now is press scatter and the computer does it all for you pretty quickly so we've got all these delegates acting now um, sort of existing in space, they're not really doing much. And you know, if we little, if we play our scene from zero to hundred frames, nothing happens, and so it should because we haven't done anything yet. So now, uh, what we're going to do is get these delegates to move 
in this space. So we go to behavior assignments. That's now, sorry, that's you click the back under the crowd helper, the, the, the motherboard brain of it all, if you like, that brings out this behavior assignments and teams panel. So on the left, we have all our delegates from one to 21, so 20 of them all together, and it has some things called another panel called behaviors and teams, cognitive controllers. We're going to be looking at the teams and behaviors section. The cognitive control is a little bit in depth um, and I haven't touched on it. I'm not going to touch on it here because I haven't done it myself. Um, but uh, let's set up, you know, let's you know, set up a team. Um, new team over here on the right. And then you go, you go select delegates. We just put them all on the same team, you know. It's friendly here, you know, no blood. So it adds them all. And you can let's call it friends. Because they're all, you know, all friends, I don't want to hurt anyone. So over here, it, change, it updates immediately. Friends. Now we want to want the, want the friends to do some stuff, and the stuff that is called behaviors. So we click on new behavior, and it brings up this little window with a whole bunch of different behaviors: avoid, orientation, repel. Um, just for now, we're just going to get them to wander around. The wander behavior. So the wander behavior will assign a random uh, direction to the delegate to turn, and you know random motions. So it'll, walk, it'll move for a little bit, and then after a certain period of time, it'll change direction and do that in infinitely for, until you know for uh, however long you've got your scene set up. So you click OK and it pops up there. Um, so we, we just have a behavior and a team in the moment. We haven't. You got to combine them together to make them act, you know, make the behavior act on the team. So all you do is you have that clicked, click friends, and you follow the arrows, and there we are. So at the moment it says, you know, the delegate team, friends, and then that'll say, you know, the friends team, and then there's the behavior. Wait, we'll get to in a little bit, but for now, let's just see, you click OK. Um, and then one thing, you know, we're nearly, nearly there to, you know, towards solving the motion, um, getting some motion happening. All we have to do now, so it's in wonder. Brings up a little wonder tool set. So things like uh, the period and deviation control, how often they turn, and you know what the angle uh, on a scale from uh, zero to one, or how sharp it could be, and how deep, how much it would you know, change from that. But we're not going to worry about that too much. What we really need to work out is this solve function. So what the solve? So before you, you can't just um, program the delegates and get them to start moving, you have to uh, solve their motion. You got to, the computer has to work out what happens um, because you know, they're not really that smart. So everything has to be controlled. So what you do is you can click solve. At the moment, it would, st it would start solving at zero and finish at 100 frames, so zero to 100. Uh, that will do for now. If you want to do more complicated motions, uh, you just or longer motions, you just up the end solve or start from a different frame, etc. So we hit solve and it does that. Um, lots of things happen very quickly then. Um, but what happened was uh, all those little dot, um, you saw some blue lines that were sort of uh, representing their vectors and where they're moving, and they've all ended up over here. So, well, all right, let's have a look at what how they actually moved. Uh, let's just click play. Oh! Look at that, they sort of wander around in space and sort of keeps changing. Uh, while, while we're here, why don't we just do something like make it 250 and we sort of see them move a little bit more. See, there you go, there's those vectors again. And, oh, see how the, they stopped and then the vectors kept moving? That's because when it's updating, um, the current uh, delegates are only they're ending at 100 frames, but we want to solve for 250. So they stop at 100 and it keeps on solving. So let's see if we can see the whole lot now from 0 to 250. Oh, they're moving. Look at that. Like little bugs or something. It's pretty fun. So and there we go. So we've just got a whole bunch of little delegates and assign them a wonder motion. But that's not very useful because they sort of they sort of fuck off into nowhere. We don't want that to happen. So you know we want to have some control over this. So this is where our behavior assignments start to become a lot more important. Uh, for starters, let's tell them to just only walk within that little ground plane that we set out. Now, there's, either, there's, a, new there's a behavior that does that for us. 
So we click new behavior, and that is called this surface follow. So that is sort of follow along a certain plane. Same deal as before. Surface follow is the behavior. It's acting on the team, and you do that. Uh, surface follow. Okay. Now over here under we still clicked on the the crowd object. Um, so we go to the setup that's wanted selected. We click that, and surface follow appears. Uh, it'll come down to surface follow behavior. We, it says none at the moment. Well, we, we, want, we want it to be one, so we go thank you. Uh, click the plane. Plane one is selected. Um, solve from zero to two fifty. If I'm very smart and have done the right thing, we'll click solve, and they'll all only move within here. So we'll see what happens. Let's click back to start and solve. Looks like something good is happening. Uh, let's have a look. Let's get right in there. Some score say it's gazy angles going on. All right. Oh, and you can see they're existing within that plane pretty, going pretty well. I do say so myself. So yeah, that's you know simply using the surface follow and the wander component. They just just fart around in that plane, don't leave it, which is you know can be very useful at times. So depending on what you're trying to do.